In the past, I had created a video which showed how to create custom flip box with Elementor and just CSS. And if you go down, you could see this is what I had made in the past. And this is like very customizable and all where you could just add any widget that you want. You could style it however you want. So it's better than the Elementor Pro's flip box simply because it has given you like the most creativity because we just use like basic containers. But I had realized that I never created a video to showcase how to make this 3D where you could see that the images and all have like this parallax kind of effect or 3D kind of effect where you could see that the image and all feels like they are hovering a bit. You could see, I don't know if you guys can see it. If I move it like this, you could see. And which is pretty cool and it's very easy to do too and I just realized why haven't I created a video on it. So this blog post that I had created in the past, I just updated it to make sure that uh, we can do this stuff. So in this video, we are just going to learn how to do this and the flip box, I already have a video on how to make this. So I'm just going to quickly go over it, how to create this flip box quickly. Now just to go over very quickly on how to make like the base of it, which is like doing default flip box and then we will make it 3d we'll just quickly make this first base and that is very easy to do so in your page just create a container give it a size something that you want i'm just going to make it place in the center for time being and this one is going to be our i guess flip wrapper or something you could name it anything uh, instead of this we will add two containers so first would be our flip front I'll make it grow so that it like takes the whole size of our stuff. Let's just duplicate it and call it flip back. So now we have two containers. One is full and one is uh, sorry. One is front and one is back. Uh, I'm going to make sure our wrapper has zero padding like this for a front flip. I'm just going to give it a color for now just to see or just to show you guys. Red is front, blue is black. And right now we will select our front and then give it position absolute. I'm just going to hide it for time being and uh, it's not going to show like because it's not going to stretch automatically. You can go in here and type 100% and that should do. It only works if you have position absolute. Okay. So 100% like this. Now we need to add a flip back to which is going to be position absolute. We use position absolute, not fix position absolute. We use position absolute when we don't want something to take any space in our element but it also makes re making it responsive a bit harder but in this case it will work 100% even if you make it responsive. So we will do the same step. We will make this one to be 100% like this. So we have front and back on top of each other. So like this you could see. Now we simply need to add the CSS classes. So this one we will call it a dm front card for this one give it css class even if you have Ele if you don't have elementor pro it would still work uh, but if you want to buy elementor pro the link is in description and if you use that link it supports me or you could even check the recommended tools so i have a page where i have like recommended tools that i use that's like all my hosting and all that i have like elementor and all so let's add dm back card to our flip back like this then select DM flip card text around here and then give it to a flip wrapper like this. Now we simply need to add our HTML widget like this. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you need to use HTML widget to add custom CSS. But if you have Elementor Pro, just select your container, go to custom CSS and add it around here. I'm just going to use HTML widget for this one simply for the free users. but you just need to do these steps in your custom CSS if you have Elementor Pro. So we type style. Uh, if you have Elementor Pro, you don't need to type this. You just need to type whatever is inside around here. Okay. So let's go down and let's copy this code and paste it. And you could see suddenly it just starts working without any, without any issues. So in my front card, I'm just going to add a heading. And I'm going to call it as dm motion arts so just i just added a heading and then placed it in the center i'm going to do the same in the back side and you could see how this is how it looks okay so we got a flip card ready easily uh, if you were using elementor pro you would have copied this this much code inside your 
flip wrapper custom css if you don't have elementor pro use the link in description to get it now next step we need to do is simply make this elements be a bit closer to us so think of it in a 3d way so x is left and right y is up and down and z is front and back so now we just need to move this text or any element that you add in here closer to us so that it is in a 3d way okay so first thing first whenever we want to add some css code then we need to give it a css class so for this heading i'll just call it as dm front heading something like this so let's copy this css class go into our uh, html widget so i'll type dot dm front heading and instead of this, I'll just type transform translate 3D. And when we use translate 3D, we need to give X, Y, and Z. So I'll do zero pixels for X, zero pixels for Y, and zero pixels for Z. So if I do, let's say 10 pixels, okay, you could see that if I do 50 pixels, it's moving it towards right. If I do 100, it's moving it towards right. If I do 100 minus 100, it's moving it towards left same with y if i do 100 it's going down if i do minus 100 it's going up if you do z you would see nothing's happening even if i do minus 50 nothing's happening because it's going front and back right but it's not going to work unless we add this code which is transform style preserve 3d so let's copy this and in our dm front card let's paste it around here and also for the back card let's add it around here so we added transform style preserve 3d transform style preserve 3d simply because our headings parent container is flip front right so for this preserve 3d to work the parent container needs to have this preserved 3d code and that's why we add it to our front card and then back card still nothing showing right but if i move it you could see that now suddenly it's being different if i type 100 you guys can see that it's such a big difference maybe i make it slow so let's do let's say five seconds around here and then five seconds around here maybe yep you could see now you could see the animation happening similarly if i go in here and then make this tm back heading copy this in our code dot tm back heading let's just copy this stuff and then if we do 100 you would see that it's now a bit above maybe let's make this one darker so we can even see it better you could see the text going 3d completely and that's all you need to do we just uh, if we let's say add more stuff into, into this we can make it place a bit front we can make it place a bit back so let's say if i add some icon in here so if i let's say i add this icon in here probably make it yellow give it a class of let's say dm front icon and then do same stuff that we did but this time we will make it be a bit in different direction or not different direction but not as close so i did 50 pixels you can see that this is also there in 3d space but this is closer to us sorry this is closer to us and this is further than us and this is how we just create some 3d effect which is creating custom flip box which work like this you can see it gives nice effect it looks pretty cool and that's all you need to do and again this is like a better flip box because you, you can add anything in here any widget in here if you were using like pre-built one then it might not work nicer but this one you could see just add anything make any size and it just works you could even change the direction you can see that i can also make it go up and down the code is in here all you need to do is change the rotate y to rotate x in like three locations in here so rotate x rotate x and rotate x and yeah that's all you need to do so yeah thanks for watching uh if you enjoyed consider liking and subscribing using the links in description to get elementor pro or any other products and that way you could support me goodbye